Today we're going to do a polygon review. A polygon is a many-sided figure. We're going to start with triangles. A triangle has three sides. And we can name our triangles according to their sides and their angles. If we have the sides, we're going to start with three equal sides, which is called an equilateral triangle. The equilateral, equilateral triangle has three equal or congruent sides. Our next one is the isosceles triangle. An isosceles triangle has two equal or congruent sides. And our last one is the scalene triangle that has zero congruent sides. So an equilateral triangle has three equal sides. An isosceles triangle has two equal sides. And a scalene triangle won't have any sides that are the same. So these three are your choices when you're talking about a triangle's sides. We can also talk about a triangle in terms of its angles. So we're going to start with acute. An acute triangle has three acute angles. All the angles are going to be acute angles. The next one is going to be a right triangle. A right triangle will have one right angle. And the last one is an obtuse triangle. And it has one obtuse angle which we know is bigger than 90 degrees. Our right triangle had one right angle or a 90 degree angle and our acute triangle had three angles that were all acute. Now we're going to talk about quadrilaterals. Quadrilaterals have four sides. Quadrilateral is a parallelogram. A parallelogram has opposite sides that are parallel. Those are parallel, and those opposite sides are parallel. Many different shapes can be parallelograms. This is a parallelogram. A square is a parallelogram. A rectangle is a parallelogram. A rhombus is a parallelogram. All of them have opposite sides that are parallel, 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 which makes them all parallelograms. But this one is specifically a parallelogram. Our next shape is a rhombus. A rhombus is a four-sided figure. It has four equal sides, but it does not have angles that are 90 degrees. So it's like a square that got squashed. The next one is a rectangle. A rectangle, once again, it's a parallelogram. It has opposite sides that are congruent, and it has four right angles. We have a square. A square is a parallelogram, so its opposite sides are parallel. It has four equal sides, like a rhombus had, but it has four right angles. My last parallelogram, oh, two more parallelograms. One is a trapezoid. The trapezoid is special because a trapezoid only has one pair of parallel lines. One pair. It is not a parallelogram and it can look like this or it can look like that. One pair of parallel lines. My last 
Perfect. Quadrilateral is a kite. Kite looks like a kite that you would fly. A kite has adjacent sides that are congruent. So these two next door neighbors are congruent and the long two are congruent. That's a kite. After our quadrilaterals, then we have polygons that have different numbers of sides. Quadrilateral is four. Then we have a pentagon that has five. A hexagon that has six. A heptagon that has seven. An octagon that has eight. A nonagon that has nine and a decagon that has 10. Now some of these have, little, um, have words that you might see before like pentagon, the building in the Washington DC has five sides or um, if you, a pen, um, a pentathlon has five events, a hexagon, hexagon, um, X, Six, both have X's, that's how you remember a hexagon. Heptagon, octagon, like an octopus, eight. Nonagon doesn't have anything other than N and N, nine. And a decagon, like a decade is 10 years, or a decathlon is 10 events. So those are some ways to remember. The last thing you wanna think of is a regular polygon. And a regular polygon means all sides are congruent and all angles are congruent. And there were two regular polygons in what we've just looked at. One of ours was the equilateral triangle and the other one was the square. Any of these can also be regular polygons, regular shapes, if they have the same angles and the same measures all the way around.